there is a piece of hair that just isn't going in place. I'd like it up here. Hey Munchies, it's the Gamer Untamed and welcome to my January favourites. Again, this isn't very beauty related, somewhat, but I'm just going to be tossing a few things in here, keeping up the mix and variety to keep you interested, and yeah. So I let, let's let jump into the fa- where's English? Where are you? English language. So number one, my favourite beauty item this month, and that would have to be L'Oreal Palette Palace? L'Oreal Pal- Whoa! L'Oreal Paris. I mean, it's kind of like a palace. L'Oreal Paris Skin Perfection. It is just delightful. It literally feels like I'm putting a cloud on my face. It is so moisturizing and rejuvenating. It's so just smoothing for your skin. Provides a lovely sensation. I sound like a guru, but I'm totally not. It's just nice. This is what people say when they have no idea about skincare products. I'm just like, hey, I'll pretend to care. Correcting day moisturizer. I use it at night. Number two, my favorite clothing item, and I couldn't really decide this month, so I have two. One that I ordered online at the, the beginning of January. It's a massive coat, so totally not for summer, for January kids in Australia, anyway, in the lower southern hemisphere. But this is the jacket. It is basically just a kind of black and white splotched pattern from um, the store Beginning Boutique and this is an exclusive piece to Beginning Boutique. I'm not sure if it's still in the store anymore but if it is I will leave a link down below of course. It's such a nice jacket. It is so, it's not a jacket, it's a coat. Such a nice coat, it's really comfortable. Um, I have to roll up the sleeves because I am tiny um, but I've always wanted a trench type coat. Secondly. If I could just, this is from Zara, and it is Trafalk Adewe, something European, I'm sure. And it is like this vest, waist jacket thing, coat, I don't know. But you basically wear long sleeves, and you put this on, and it has a button and some pockets. And I thought it looked really European and cute. I felt like I needed to be Blair from. Uh, Gossip Girl for a minute. They had a really nice dress, but it was like a corset on my boobs, so that wasn't very comfortable. So I just went with the mustard jacket thing. Favorite thing that I've watched this month would have to be, without a doubt, The Danish Girl. I will leave my link to my movie review below. I absolutely love this film. It is one of my top favorite films now. Eddie Redmayne and Alicia Vikander are the perfect pairing. I could not imagine any other actor being able to play the, uh, the woman Lily Elb within this film. I mean, Eddie Redmayne looks can, yep, kind of feminine. I mean, I know that sounds kind of terrible, but really you can only pull that off so well when you have a, you know, feminine features. I mean, we all have some feminine and masculine features, to be honest, but just Eddie Redmayne just perfect. And the storyline, Tom Hooper's direction, um, the soundtrack was so... what's the word? Ambient? Why do I forget that? It was just such a beautiful film, very touching, very moving, and a very humble biopic as well. The favourite thing that I've listened to this month would have to be this duet that is between Miley Cyrus and... Ar wait, what? Okay. The favourite thing that I've listened to this month is a duet between Miley Cyrus and Ariana Grande and it is Happy Hippie Presents Don't Dream It's Over performed by Miley Cyrus and Ariana Grande. I will leave the link below, it is such a great rendition of the song, perfect cover, I mean I prefer this cover over the original song, I wonder if I can play it and you'll hear it. Anyway, uh, my favourite food, disappointing, I haven't tried any new foods, so I'm just going to tell you about a food that I really didn't like this month. I went to my friend's 17th birthday in early January, and I made the mistake of ordering a creme brulee. I know a lot of people, really classy people, would like a creme brulee, but it was like a Nutella creme brulee, and I'm not a fan of custard, 
I didn't, re my brain didn't really connect with the fact that, oh, it's actually custard. And there was this much Nutella, this much custard. So what happened was I had like two bites and I'm like, sweet, really sweet. And then I just decided to eat like Nutella out of a bowl. Cause I'm like, well, it was like Nutella and cross dollies. So it was like, everyone else ate the other bits. I mean, the, this place called them donuts. Yeah, Nutella out of a tub is really great. Okay, so the favourite thing that I read this month is Night Street by Crystal Thornell. This is a Melbourne writer, I think she's a Melbourne writer, it takes place in Melbourne, this book, uh, and she's Australian. It's a very creative and artistic book. If you don't really like description, very elegant um, descriptions, I wouldn't really recommend reading this book, but it is very creatively written, very inspiring. Um, there are just a lot of things that I liked about this book. It just seemed to like evoke passion when you're reading it and I thought, hey, this is pretty good. I thought it was going to be crap because one of my teachers told me it was shit. But um, you know what? No, I liked it. Night Street is the passionate story of a talented young painter and really you can gather that feeling from reading the book. It's really good. I would recommend it. So my favourite moment or place would have to be when myself, uh, my mum and my nonna went to this um, little boathouse um, in, in January during the holidays for morning tea. We had, um, apparently we used to go there when I was little but I really don't remember it. Um, I had like I had a cappuccino and I had a piece of cake and we were, and I was reading and they were having a chat. Of course, I wasn't partaking in social activity, um, but it was just a really nice and pleasant outing. And I think I I just really love that place now because of the environment. It's like set on a bank, um, and you can go in a canoe ride or you can go in a boat. Um, it's just super cute and super like. I mean, there's a photo of it in my Instagram and I'll leave a link to it below because it's absolutely beautiful location. So if you're Australian and you live in Melbourne, you should go to the boathouse. It's really nice. And lastly, because I haven't actually been able to play any video games lately, which is really unfortunate, unfortunately, school has just taken over my life and I've probably overwhelmed myself a bit too much. But um, I'm going to recommend a really awesome website to every, anyone who loves to write. So basically what I've been doing for like a really long time is what's called um, forum writing and interactive writing which is essentially you go on a website or even in a, a role playing video game and you write with other people and you craft stories and form relationships and etc. People think I'm very strange when I talk about it but it's really really fun if you're a writer. Not my friend, not Barely any of my friends are writers, so they should just ignore that. Um, but there is an awesome website called Paint It Black. Um, the link isn't called that, but it's like Demi Mods or something like that. Um, it's a really interesting, very, very um, intricate writing site. Basically, it's set in uh, industrial London in the late 1890s and with a supernatural twist, so you can play supernatural characters in the midst of this. Um, industrial world. So I think it's super interesting. I'll leave the link down below. I've been partaking in it for quite a while now and I think it's just a really fantastic source of inspiration as well if you just want to gather um, information about writing or you want to partake as well. It does require an application because it's a advanced site but give it a go if you're interested. And that's the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Before I forget because I have forgotten since late November last year. I have to give a shout out to my English friend who's in my English class. Grant, hello. Are you happy now? I don't know. That's all you really get. I hope you realise that. Uh, so I just had to do that because I was getting hounded. So, done. Hope that pleased him, I guess. Whatever. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it if you like. Leave your comments down below about stuff. Let's have a chat. I don't know. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next week. So I hope you have a wonderful week. And bye! <laughs>